A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. to meet Hope and Hope is a photographer that reached out to us and offered to do a maternity shoot for us which I'm so excited about. I've got my new dress on and we've got the dog um, and it's really early in the morning so the sun hasn't even fully risen yet so hopefully we can get some gorgeous sunrise photos and it's gonna be so fun. Lou and I have never done a professional photo shoot like never had somebody else take our photos even really so it should be pretty hilarious because we are actually quite newbies at this. <laughs> So we made it to location number one for the photo shoot. Um, Hope is on her way and Lou's out just walking for her to get a little bit of her energy out. But this place is stunning and it's such a gorgeous time of day. So I think we should be able to get some really nice photos. I've got all homemade things on. So I've got my hair sweatshirt that I made because it is a little chilly in the morning. And I've got the dress. One of the projects that I have on my agenda is that I need to make a maternity um, sh photo shoot outfit. Well, I don't need to, I want to. We have um, a photo shoot coming up in a week. A really nice woman reached out to us on Instagram who is a professional photographer coming to Maui for vacation. And she was like, hey, like I've been following your channel. I would love to do a photo shoot with you if, you, if you're interested. And Lou and I were like, a hundred percent. That sounds amazing. That's the one I'm gonna try to make something like this like a scoop neckline and a high neckline in the back. And to do that, I'm thinking I have this tank top that has a similar like neckline. See like lower in the front and higher in the back. So this will be the top. I'm gonna combine these two. So it'll be like that as the top, as if it was that. And that, and then we're gonna add, I think like at least three inches to the dress. And then I kind of want to see if I can do some like gathering here. I think that looks nice. But that will be the maternity outfit for the fancy photo shoot. since I started this sewing project. Um, and I'm really excited about this dress. I think it was good. I was looking at a little bit of other inspiration this morning and looking at more complicated dresses, but I'm like, no, let's keep it simple. Just a tank top dress so that I can actually feel successful and make something hopefully. Um, because this is the first time I'm doing like a complete pattern, like making up a pattern on my own. So it should be very good. I've got, the pattern on the fabric. I still need to cut it out though. So I need to add the seam allowance. Does cutting fabric make anyone else nervous? Oh, hope this works.
So the first thing that I'm gonna sew is the neckline. And the necklines have given me some trouble, honestly, with my other projects. So I'm hoping that I can get this one nice and even. Oh, I think I made the seam, oh yeah, yeah. I made the stitch length too short and it's getting so intense and crowded in there. I'm gonna rip this out because it didn't end up working. And I don't want the beginning of the dress to be messy. I'm excited. Now I'm just going to sew it down the side. I don't think, honestly, this is gonna be so tight. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the gathering that I had talked about. I'm just gonna sew it. Hi, pretty girl. I'm just gonna sew it right down the sides. Yeah, come in, let me see your reaction. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. It's good, right? Yeah, so cool. It's really good, I was so worried. I tried it on when all the pins were in it. And I poked myself like crazy and it also was busting at the seams. So I was like, oh no, I made it too small. But I finally made something that fits. Good job. So now I just need to make the bottom hem. Yeah. Now you can see I made it look finished on the bottom, not just a raw edge. I'm kind of in love with it. It's super comfortable. And I think it's gonna be not just for like the maternity shoot, but I think I could wear this quite regularly. The only thing is like, I feel like the, the arm area, I could have made a little bit bigger. So if I use the pattern again, cause I have the same fabric in black. Um, if I make it again, I might make the arm hole a little bit bigger. <laughs> Um, well, I'm really excited. I honestly was like a little bit nervous for this photo shoot because we've never like done anything like this before or, like with a professional photographer. And I'm like, I hope that we like look normal and Freya behaves herself. Um, but I think it should be really fun. And I like, like I was looking at Hope's website and she's like all about just having it be really casual and really feel like us, that's like a couple and a family, um, which is my vibe because <laughs> We just are doing our normal thing. Look at these two cuties. Love and life. There's <laughs> like so many smells. Yeah, there's cows. Hope just got here. She's got all her cameras. Hi. <laughs> We're ready to go. So everything, we got Super 8, we got Polaroid, we got yeah, a lot of things shooting just with. Just strap me up, I'm good to go. And yeah, the light is still beautiful, so I think we're gonna try to sneak in some photos.
location one was a major success. Now Lou wants the coffee, and then we're gonna head to the Makawao Forest. Yeah! <laughs> So we are just arriving now at the Makwa Forest and this will be our second location for the shoot today. Um, and Hope is just incredible. It is such a treat for Lou and I who are used to, when we take our photos for anything, we use a tripod and so we're, you know, if we want to switch angles, it's a whole procedure. You have to like move the tripod, switch it up, blah, blah, blah. And it takes way longer. And then with Hope, it's like, right. she's just moving around and getting all these different angles and especially having a dog, like dogs obviously are running all over the place. And so it's just been such a treat. And I think that, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the photos turned out. We just saw a few of them in the back of her camera and they look stunning. So I think the forest should be a good spot for all of us. <laughs> like a crazy dog that she is and now we're gonna grab some lunch and then head to the house and I think we're just gonna do some like cozy house photos um I really really love Hope she's so sweet and like makes us feel really comfortable on camera which is funny because it's like obviously we're on camera all the time but it's different to be on camera like in front of somebody else um and it's just been like really easy and nice um, but yeah, I'm really hungry, so we're gonna get some lunch, and then off to the last easiest location, our house. Lou just left to go drive her up the top of the road. Um, Freya is totally spent, and so am I. I think I need a nap. But I'm just so grateful that Hope reached out to us. Right, Freya, girl? Because it was such a treat to have somebody take our photos and then, you know, to actually have somebody here in the backyard and get like these precious moments at home too. I don't know, I think I'm gonna cherish these photos forever and yeah, I just can't wait to see how they turned out, but I'm glad that the dress worked and that we got some fun photos and really just had a great day and made a new friend. It's always special to meet other people like pursuing creative passions. So I hope you enjoyed that one. A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. One of the things I love about our website is that it allows us to connect with creative people all over the world. And it's a beautiful space to display our photographs. It's easy when you're shooting digital for things to get lost in the hard drives, but when you display your photos online, they get to build a life of their own. If you'd like to start your own website or online store, head to squarespace.com slash wildreroam for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.